of blessed Easter to all of you. Christ is risen, truly is risen, alleluia, alleluia. And as we work our way through this octave, this eight days of Easter, we soon will approach the eighth day, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday. And for years, the church has celebrated this octave, but now, because of Pope John Paul II dedicating it and indicating it as Divine Mercy Sunday, we hear how the prayers and the original scripture readings correspond so beautifully to this message of God's divine mercy. This is the prayer we'll hear on Sunday. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very occurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Fifty years ago on Good Friday, which was also April 19th, 15 years, 50 years ago, just as it was this year, Sister Faustina received the indication to have the image venerated. And so, on this second Sunday of Easter, we follow through what the Lord has asked. As we celebrate, rejoice, and express our gratitude for God's divine mercy manifested, not only in Jesus crucified, but in Jesus risen from the dead. My dear brothers and sisters, may we be ever more open at divine mercy and allow it to transform, encourage, and fill us with joy. A blessed Easter to all, and may you share the joy of Jesus with everyone you meet.